Bienvenue Jean-Philippe Casso. Jean-Philippe is the newest member of Red Star Belgrade. He comes from a uh, Ligue 2 side, uh, Saint Etienne, where he had his best season as a professional footballer. 17 goals and 12 assists in 35 matches. Uh, just an exceptional season. There have been rumors about uh, Jean-Philippe Casso signing for Red Star for about uh, seven, eight months now, I would say. And, you know, it's finally come to uh, fruition. He had a lot of other offers from the Egyptian League, from Saudi Arabia, and I believe from Germany as well. And he decided to sign for Red Star. The contract is for four years, so until 2027. Um, in terms of Saint Etienne, he became their captain about halfway through the season, maybe a little bit before halfway through the season. So obviously he has characteristics, you know, to kind of lead a team in the right direction. Like I said, he had an exceptional season uh, this past season, scoring a lot of goals and assisting a lot as well. Has a lethal left foot, um, but he's equally good with his right. I mean, his left is is better, but he's also very good with his with his right. Um, navigates in in tight spaces has the ability to really get by defenders. In that aspect of this game, he kind of reminds me of um, Osman Bukhari, who is currently plays for Red Star as well. The navigation from Bukhari in, in tight spots is just crazy because he's such a fast player and he's so quick that he can almost see the kind of the second defender making his way towards him. And he's already thinking of what he's going to do to get away from both players. And he's exceptional in that. Very good in tight, tight spaces where he has to beat two or three guys within you know, three or four meters of each other. He's ec excellent in that. He just has this ability to maneuver through players. And Jean-Philippe Casso has that as well, which is very important. Um, so now you're going to have two players basically who have the ability to get by uh, defenders and, and just give them a nightmare. Um, his dribbling and flair can get him out of sticky situations, what I've noticed as well. So he doesn't panic when he is surrounded by two defenders, one or two, three, whatever the case may be. He kind of takes his time and, and he navigates through that and his flair allows him to get a lot of, um, to get away from, from defenders in, in, in tight in tight spaces. Um, the ability to kind of like use his heel and to do all these trick plays to get out of those. Sometimes it could be a cause for concern, absolutely. Like we've seen players do that where it just kind of leads to a turnover and a goal for the other the other team. I think that's something to kind of watch when we get into Champions League against better teams where stuff like that might not fly. So you're going to have to be able to evaluate that and kind of think of other ways to navigate through those situations. So that's that's just something to kind of point out. But in the domestic league, it should be able to get him out of, like I said, tight spaces and, and where he can use his dribbling and flair to kind of um, get by defenders, midfielders, whatever the case may be. Basically, the opposition's uh, players. Not selfish in front of goal, which I think is very important for a center forward. Um, willing to find teammates. The 12 assists show that. A lot of his highlights show that as well, where he's willing to slide the ball over to either his center forward partner or whoever is pinching up with him. Very important. I think Alexander Pesic did that very well as well, especially in his, in his, you know, his first go around with Red Star. So I, I think in the like I'm keeping that in the back of my mind to when we do get to Champions League and if he's if he is unselfish in those situations. As a center forward, I absolutely do believe that in, in some situations you need to be selfish. You are the center forward, you're paid to score goals. And sometimes maybe when you should pass, you have to be able to take that shot and score. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind as well with the 12 assists that he had this season. Um, honestly, a lot of his highlights, he just looked too good for Ligue 2. And I think this is the reason why he was, um, Ligue 2 is, is the second tier of, of French football. And I think this is kind of the reason why he looked for a new challenge as well. And he probably could have left halfway through the season uh, just because he is that good. He just, a lot of it just looked very easy for him. The way he was able to glide by players, um, like I already said, his ability to get out of tight situations, uh, it, he just looked too good for that level of play. And like I said, second tier of French football to the Champions League, it's a big jump. I'm eager to see how he does uh, and how he impacts this team. He was asked about his, kind of like his style of play, if he was a target man or, or whatever the case may be. He says he likes to switch positions during a match because he likes to, you know, get a touch of the ball as often as he can. And he finds it boring that if he does play one position where he's kind of waiting for the ball to get to him. So that's also something... Um, very important. And I think the way that Red Star has constructed its team the last two or three seasons, 
I think that falls into our lap because Mirko Ivanic and Alexander Kata used to do a lot of switching around where they would switch from from left wing to right wing to attacking mid. They would constantly be shifting throughout the match. Now, those are with different managers at the helm, but with Bakar here, maybe that's the way that he likes to play as well, as well, where he likes to switch around the players. We'll see. But the fact that, you know, he's kind of open to that and that he likes that, I think that's a big plus because he's not willing to stick to just one position. And again, if he does stick to one position, I mean, 17 goals and in, in 17 goals and 12 assists in 35 matches is, is really good. So, you know, hopefully we have a player in our hands. And I think we're still slowly starting to construct this team to look like a Champions League team, which is very important. Like I said, a lot of the business needs to get, get done well ahead of the season. We have a lot of time. We're starting to get players in. We've signed a number of players prior to the season. Stamenic, Olaenka, um, Jean-Philippe Casso is here now. Um, Ormond Glazer is supposed to be signed as the new goalkeeper. Alate Alat, we'll see what happens with him as well. He's a center forward that's been linked to the club as well. Um, in terms of center backs, we'll see what happens there as well. But we're, we are well on our way. I like this signing. Would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, who else do you guys think the Red Star should target? A lot of the players that we've been kind of rumored with, like Nemanja Maksimovic, looks like he's going to uh, Panantiakos. Filip Maldanovic has signed for Panantiakos. Um, I think Luka, Miluno, uh, Luka Milivojevic is still out there. We'll see what happens with that transfer and if if, if that goes down. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I like this signing. Like I said, 17 and 12 in 35 matches. I understand it's League League 2, but it's, it's still a lot of goals and a lot of assists and and we'll see how well he, you know, fits fits in with this team. Also, what I like is French speaking. There's a lot of French speaking guys on the team. Like I had mentioned Osman Bukhari before, um, Gaylor Kanga, Kings Kangwa. So there's, you know, he should feel right at home where if he doesn't understand, there's guys on the team who can relay the message for him if he doesn't understand. And yeah, um, looking forward to seeing uh, Casso out there with, with the boys fighting in Champions League.